I wasn't able to get into my account. My phone number wasn't correct and I couldn't provide the right transactions to authenticate me. Lisa Singh was locked out, her profile taken over. Someone had changed my phone number. So they were getting the text. And getting full access to her business account. They took out over $65,000. Seven withdrawals in total, e-transfers, wire transfers, bill payments. This was me at 134. Okay. Then they signed it at 136. Singh still doesn't know how they did it, but all signs point to her logging in. And two minutes later, the scammers doing the same. He said it could have been spyware. It's all speculation, but it's all she has. It took six months, six months to get an answer. And that was me following up continuously, like a lifeline. Like I need to know where this money is, if it's coming back to me or what. ATB was able to recover a good chunk of the money. It won't comment on Singh's case, citing privacy reasons, but she says it has offered her half of the more than 22 k still missing. I refused because I want all of it. Banking fraud complaints aren't new, but they've skyrocketed over the last five years. According to the Ombudsman for Banking Services and Investments, in 2019, it received 43 fraud case complaints, making up 17% of overall complaints. Fast forward to 2023, and those numbers have risen to 951 or 40%, respectively. ATB did launch a fraud investigation and told us it takes every client's banking information and security extremely seriously. You're trusting the bank to take care of your funds. You're putting your money in there and trusting them that they have your back. The only thing Lisa Singh wants back now is her money. It's hard work to get that money, you know, and it's a lot to lose. Tomasio Da Silva, Global News.